okay for today several topics um this which uh, i didn't talk about yet these two um my 10 turn pots that i ordered and i think that's already it okay let's go to this one i thought it was a third topic but okay um so this this is a brushless dc motor but you may have noticed there is no driver attached to it but a lot of cables um so okay these are really neat um here on the back you see well three chips that are kind of the same those are probably MOSFETs. You see another chip, which is a tiny microprocessor. And you can probably guess that this is the BLDC driver. Um, this motor takes 12 volts and a PWM signal to tell it the speed. You see, and it of course goes in two directions. Um, okay, we have plus minus then we have direction and the pwm signal in uh, that's the first no actually um this yellow wire is number three uh, so number three would be brake this thing actively breaks so you can well you feel a resistance when turning it when that is pulled low or high i don't know um <coughs> And it also, in this case, uh, features a pulse output for rotation speed. Um, there is a version that features uh, two outputs for rotation, um, probably two Hall effect sensors or similar, which goes back here, but there's nothing here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, because this is one of the cheaper models, which is missing the sensor, which you which would probably be placed here. Um, also, the current signal only works <laughs> when the motor gets a PWM signal. Um, it has a an automatic shutoff when it's blocked for one or two seconds. The fun thing is, it still puts out a signal when you turn it then, while you're holding it on full power, but it's not turning because it's in shutdown mode. So it puts out a signal, but as soon as you go back to no power it doesn't put out a signal which is bad because i want to know when the thing gets turned even if i don't apply power to it but okay i still wanted to highlight this motor because it's a bldc um which does not require a driver such as this uh this probably has more amperage but um <coughs> yeah cheap china crap right uh, i think this motor costs like i don't know eight bucks maybe from China which is kind of cheap for a BLDC motor that has a uh, speed readout it's from the company NIDEC this is the model 248677H010 which doesn't mean much so everything you, all, uh, you gotta look for is 24H that is the series um, you can get those on AliExpress uh, but they also have the the listing on their own page um, but you can't just buy them there also they're probably much more expensive if you if you buy them directly from the company but yeah they're really cool <clears throat> if only this one had the uh, readout always on or at least the or the two two sensor readout so you could also sense direction when it's turned because currently i, I would have to rely on the signal i plug into the clockwise counterclockwise pin um, <clears throat> which is doesn't really work when you turn it by hand so yeah that's topic number one topic number two these two um, those are wire wound uh, 10k 10 turn uh, resistors actually well it says two watts and I measured them, they're kind of accurate to 10k plus minus 5%, that's accurate, yeah. Um, measured it with this thing, so I don't know <laughs> what's now more accurate, this or this, doesn't matter. <clears throat> it's, it's good enough for us, I guess. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a circuit here with this um, 741 op amp like Paul from Learn Electronics showed us already. Um, and I hope I can then fine tune the output of our uh, piezo element. Okay. Oh yeah. Well, another addition I made to my shop, or well, improvement rather. Um, so you see, there's now just a gray cable going into these from the power supply, and it's also rather long. The reason is I did another experiment. That's topic number three. There it is, <coughs> with this thing. Um, yeah, you remember it? Cooler, Peltier, and heatsink on the inside. Yep. I tried to build a fridge, and I can tell you it did not work. Um, all I got, even after hours of running, was just water, which is not what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted ice, but I guess... Well, I pumped in like 3.5 amps, and my... Um, thermal imaging camera already started to flicker when I was filming from the side in here in, onto the element because it's not completely covered in thermal grease because yeah guess why the stuff I bought from China which uh, was was supposed to be a lot is, is kind of half of it is filled with air so you get like 0.3 milliliters instead of one milliliter per syringe and yeah that sucks i gotta get more of thermal grease at some point maybe i will continue this but yeah it needs ridiculous amounts of power this peltier element is actually rated for 15 amps and i don't have the capabilities to supply 15 amps also with this cable <laughs> um I want to come back to this cable because that's what started the topic. Um, this gets kind of warm at almost 5 amps, which is like the maximum these can supply. Um, and the reason I replaced the original, as you see here, um, is it wasn't exactly, uh, well, low resistance. The, the cable is still up here. Um, no, 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 that's not the cable. I put it somewhere else. God dang it, where did I put the cable? There. Almost the same place. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this, but I tried to solder to it. This is one of the wires that is made of aluminum and coated in copper. And when you try to solder to it, the copper gets turned into oxide and that's it. Or it gets eaten away by the corrosive uh, flux, whatever is inside the um, this thing here, the solder. Um, but yeah, so I decided, fuck this. Let's use a real cable made of real copper, which is this. Um, which surprisingly also has a lower resistance uh, than this. Well, not really surprising. But yeah, that's... That's another improvement here. So also this is longer than the old cable. Well, the old cable was already longer than this thing. I don't know. This is really fucking short. I gotta replace this at some point too. But probably with a uh, thicker wire than this. Because it gets quite warm at 5 amps. And <clears throat> yeah. I don't want this to just burn up. So I had to run the thing down here at 3.5 amps. And yeah, it just wasn't enough to get really cold and I also didn't want to crack the Peltier element. But back to topic. Um, I'm talking for, I don't know, 50 minutes now. Who cares? I am going to build the circuit <coughs> and then I'm going to test it. And I will show the results to you. And if everything blows up, you will probably not get a video for, from this. <laughs> No, I will probably upload some rage of mine if it breaks, but I hope it does not break. And I don't really see a reason other than this thing bouncing around and shattering itself. That would quite 
suck quite badly. But yeah, I'm gonna build this BRB. Okay, it does not work. I don't know why. Yes, I use different resistor values for the voltage divider, but that should not make a difference. Let's look at the video again. Let's look at the video again. Yes, I said let's look at the video again. Okay. We can back. Kilohertz. There we go. Pause. Okay. So let's use a fucking wire. No, let's actually use a screwdriver to scratch my screen. Okay, so we have 1k, 1k from output to ground. There, there should be no uh, charge flowing in any of these here. So I just used two 10k's because I had them hand ready. So that should not make a difference. This is replaced by my 10 turn pot. This should be a 200 nanofarad or round about that. And nothing happens. <laughs> I got an oscillation out of it at kind of 3 volts, but it, well, it uh, stops as soon as I change this or put too much voltage on it. I don't know. So yeah, it does not work. I guess I have to look into that topic a bit more. I don't know. Yes, it's not that neatly organized as it is on Paul's breadboard. Let's see, can we see this here? Yeah, you see, a bit more organized for him, but I don't have short jumper leads. Well, I do have, but I have this abomination here and I don't want to use it. But yeah, so... I hooked it up, I, I checked it several times, it's the same diagram basically, but it doesn't work. And that sucks. So yeah, I gotta investigate more, but I will still upload this video so you have a bit of progress. Um, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Bye.